I remember I seen one big fire that came through here. It's a weird feeling. It's uncomfortable. Especially now with all these big fires. It take a long time right now to heal. It take a long time to to get wildlife back to rabbit, marten, fisher, even a wolf. My main focus of these forest fires is the wildlife recovery. I wanted to see the, the bunny rabbits return. I want to see the chickens out in the trees beating their wings. I want to see the moose walking around like we used to do back in the old days. Doig River First Nation Territory was the location of large catastrophic fires that have really taken a personal toll on the community. They've had multiple evacuations in recent years. So we're really trying to approach fire research in a sensitive way. My name is Jennifer McCracken. I am the lands manager at Doig River First Nation. Last year was a really difficult year for the community in terms of evacuation. They were evacuated early in the spring because of the Boundary Lake fire. And then the Donny Creek fire started, the biggest fire in BC in history. And so just a summer of constant fear. Even when the fire is not forcing them to evacuate, they're still smelling the smoke and seeing the smoke. And so it's not something you can avoid easily. It takes a toll on people for sure. Healing the land involves community-led grassroots nation projects of what is important values to them. My name is Kayla Reed, and I'm a registered forest technician and a registered biologist technician. I am the restoration coordinator here at Doig River First Nation. This project came to light due to a Donny Creek wildfire recovery that we had started when Donny Creek fire was going in July of 2023. I started conversations about some of the big questions that the nation had on the landscape recovery. From there, the three of us collaborated to conceptualize and develop this project in Doig River to answer some of the larger questions that the nation have for land-based recovery. My name is Reg Nolander. I'm the manager of the Wildfire Land-Based Recovery Program within the BC Wildfire Service. In the last decade, it's been recognized that the fires have increased in size, in intensity, and in numbers of fires. So the ministry felt that we need to dedicate staff and have some strategies and policies around post-wildfire recovery. And one of the first things we did is we interviewed a lot of subject matter experts, including hydrologists, fire ecologists, biologists, foresters. We spoke with Indigenous communities and land managers to determine what values were impacted by the fire and what can we do as, as partners to restore the land, uh, help Mother Nature heal. Often the values are different for each area and each Indigenous community. Timber is obviously a high value to the province of BC, but often there's other impacts to other values, such as wildlife, invasive species, riparian areas, hydrology, aquatics, most of the FERPA values are, are captured in, in the strategy. So my name is Dr. Lori Daniels, and I'm a professor of forest ecology at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. We're here today in the Doig River First Nation Forest. Um, this is an area that burned in 2024, and we're here in collaboration with BC Wildfire and with Doig River to do an assessment of the fire severity and to determine what the impacts of the fire were and set up permanent plots so we can be monitoring forest recovery and vegetation recovery over the next coming years. So we have been out in the forest here assessing both aspen-dominated forests and spruce-dominated forests, the two major forest types, and putting in plots so that we can figure out what was the severity of the fire that burned here this spring. So I would call this a high severity site when I look up in terms of the mortality of the trees. And yet on the surface, we're seeing really great understory recovery, both of trees already. There's aspen trees and some willows that are beginning to resprout, and really, really good recovery of the herb and shrub layer. This becomes the baseline that we can measure over time, year after year, decade after decade, forest recovery, and help Doig to understand how the forest is recovering, what plants are coming back, what are the understory berry producing shrubs and herbs, and how well are the trees regrowing over time. Often plants may grow back that we didn't think would, and sometimes we reforest an area and the, and the trees will die. So without monitoring this information, we really don't know what to do. And if we spend all our time doing something that's gonna fail, it's better to learn that slowly rather than jumping in and doing it wrong. 
So this project is pretty important because again, we don't have a lot of information on high intensity fires in the boreal forest in Northern BC. Today, uh, we've met with many of the elders from the Doig River First Nation. We've learned so much from what they know, from their knowledge. And if you don't take the time to actually listen to the elders and listen to the folks that live on the land, you, you, you miss something. So, so having the UBC students up here with Dr. Lloyd Daniels, who's well known in her in her business, and having the elders and and folks in First Nations that are working on the land coming together to work together collaboratively, I think that's how we will find the solutions uh, to benefit both land managers, the public, as well as the indigenous communities. The last couple of days, they were really wholesome. The community really came together and voiced what they wanted to say and, and really stood together strongly in how they view wildfire, how they view recovery, and again reiterating the big questions that are the unknowns. So these last two days were a community engagement facilitated jointly with myself and UBC and BC Wildfire Service to really share the knowledge that we are seeing out um, from the initial start of this project and then to hear back from them on some more of the answers that they're looking to receive and just to really take that two-eyed approach of working together and combining the Western science and traditional knowledge. <laughs>